What on earth did I just buy for the Vagabond right. Falcon? <laughs> so this, uh, we pulled it out of the junkyard and completely disassembled it. And when it was all down to bare metal, we cut and shortened uh, the axle tubes. And that way we can match the uh, track width of the original car mm -hmm. within a half an inch. Right. I saw on some people on the message boards and some people in the YouTube comments, and I wonder if you did a, a method similar. They said to get an Explorer rear mm -hmm. axle and you take, you cut out the driver's side or the passenger side because it's offset. It's offset, yeah. And then you get another passenger side spline, you put that in, and then you get something close. Did you do that or you did something different? It's that, ax that axle shaft. Okay. So the, the housing itself can come out of any donor vehicle, uh -huh. even a half-ton pickup. Mm -hmm. uh, because the center section, the ring gear, pinion, differential, all of that is the same. Mm. It's just you would have to do both sides. Mm. So, uh, but essentially the brakes are Explorer mm -hmm. off-the-shelf parts. Mm -hmm. So any time that you need replacement parts, I really like it because you just go to the parts store, Advance Auto Parts has everything on the shelf, and you get your rotors, your calipers, brake mm -hmm. pads, park and brake shoes, uh, everything you need. And did you say that this also is a limited slip? This is a 373 limited slip. Uh, essentially, it's a posi. It's mm -hmm. a clutch type posi traction unit. Was posi uh, traction, see I'm an English major so I get caught up in names. Was posi traction what GM called their limited it, slip? It is. And Ford called it something it's else? It's a traction lock. <laughs> So they, but Posi Traction was such a good name that everybody just started everybody using it. Everybody used it yeah. and stuff. Uh, then GM also had the Gov Lock, which was a mechanical locker. Uh, that was originally for the uh, government contract stuff. Oh, silly me. I forgot to give a shout out to JR. His company is Gearhead Machining, and it is out of Lansdale, Pennsylvania. And so it's Gearhead Machining. Alrighty, so thank you very much for, for building no this for us. And off to Bruce Hens.